Hello and welcome to this in-depth look at faux calligraphy, starting with the letters A to I. I will talk you through a few of these and then let you just relax and do it yourself at home for practice, but let's get straight into it. As I mentioned in my previous video of this series, it's all about starting with a simple handwriting font. This one is a serif style A, very simple. And the key is to thicken up the downstrokes. So when my hand is coming down on the page towards my body, that's considered a downstroke. So here on the A, it's the left side of the loop and the stroke as it comes down on the side. So these are the two strokes that I will be thickening up. And in this particular example, I'm probably making them about five or six times as thick as the stroke of my pen. So just always keep your thickness for your whole sentence and all the letters similar thickness if you can. Um, and then filling it in once you've made that stroke to identify where you're going to fill. Now, as we move along through this clip of me writing out the individual letters, it's going to be kept in mind the same concept behind it. It's always following the path of the direction of your hand as it moves down towards you. That's the line you want to be thickening up. Now in examples here, like the C, where it does go around on a curve, you want to keep in mind to taper that thickness off. So where it meets the, the thin stroke, you want to just taper it and fill it out into the thicker line and then come back in and taper it down to the stroke. So because they're such curvy letters, you want to keep that nice flowing curve on your stroke as well. So where they meet that line, remember to do the curve as well. Don't just sort of end it too harsh because then it won't look, won't look realistic. You want it to look like a brush pen has made these letters or, or a dip pen. It's a traditional calligraphy art that takes time and practice. Um, and it's a lot of fun to do, but this is the pretend way of doing it. And I'm sure you know that if you've clicked on the video, that's why you're interested in it. It's such a fun technique and it can work with heaps of different mediums as well, different tools. You can do this with paint, chalk, pen, marker, pencil. There's always a use for faux calligraphy and it's something that I think is really important to learn before stepping into the art of brush pen or dip pen calligraphy. Now moving on to the letter F. Now the F is a nice big curly font and it's really fun to work with. And there's so many different ways of creating Fs as well. Um, in fact, there's different ways of doing every single letter that I'm doing here today. So this is just one style. There is endless out there. You can always get inspiration from Pinterest or books or online material. Um, text and font is everywhere. So feel free to get inspired from the whole world of fonts around us. So this, this collection of fonts is kind of like my go-to font. I guess it's my, what I would do naturally. Um, and yours might be very different, but it might look really cool if you extend it into this faux calligraphy. So definitely try your own hand out. And if not, just come back to this one and just sort of follow what I've done here because I think it looks kind of nice. And now we're moving on to the uppercase letters of A to I. I have just once again chosen a semi-basic look for each letter. 
but something that looks nice but isn't too hard to achieve. So just follow along with the way I am creating these letters and then I'm thickening up all the downstrokes. Capital letters can be a little bit trickier because there's just a lot more to them. There's a lot more shape in the actual anatomy of a capital letter. So just be mindful of where you're starting each letter. Maybe follow what I have done here in this example because all my upstrokes I've kept thin and all the downstrokes I have made thicker. And as you notice at the end of the upstrokes I've actually done a little bit of extra ink or like a little tick at the end. I think it just looks pretty cool because it makes it look a bit more natural, like a brush pen has actually made them, but that is a personal choice. If you don't want to add that on yours in your practice, you do not need to. I thought I'd mention here that if you haven't seen the first video in this series where I created the typical sentence using every English letter in the alphabet, um, I did that on the first video. So if you want to see the way you connect these letters together, then feel free to check that one out. It will be linked down in the description box.
There are countless ways to create capital letters, whether you want to go extra flourished um, or just very minimal or even more structured and modern looking instead of so curly. The Focalligraphy will work for all of that. So just keep in mind those tips that I've mentioned countless times throughout these videos um, of following the downstrokes and making those parts thicker and you'll be able to find a really nice style that you really enjoy working with. Um, so this brings us to the end of this particular video. We've got one more letter to do and then I will be releasing the next stage of this series next week. Um, or if you're seeing this in the future, it's probably already here and it will be linked down in the description box. So I hope this helped you with getting even more thorough practice for your faux calligraphy. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. And for now, have a great day. See you soon. Bye.